Hey guys, Nick O'Neill of Fortuna Found here, and I was out having a walk and just kind of reflecting on some things, including something that you find in the hiking, backpacking, and the backcountry community, and that is the list of the 10 essentials. Now, these are 10 essential items you should have with you anytime you go out hiking or you're spending time outdoors, uh, significantly away from folks. And these are 10 things that could end up saving your life. It's a pretty standardized list. You can look it up anywhere online, but it has things like uh, navigation, so having a, a compass and a map, extra shelter, extra food, extra water, med kit, stuff like that. Uh, so anyways, it got me thinking though, what would be some essentials for the kite flyer? And I can't really come up with a good list of essential items that you should have to save your life while kite flying. So instead, I came up with this list of five items I think are essential to have anytime you go out kite flying in order to make your experience enjoyable. This is, of course, excluding things like the kite and uh, repair kits for your kite and stuff like that. So the first thing I have on my list is ironically the thing that I forget almost all of the time and that is sunscreen. I must have 10 or 12 types of sunscreen sitting on the shelf at home because uh, I keep forgetting it. But sunscreen's really important, uh, not just for the summer, but also during the spring, the fall, and definitely during the winter. If you're doing any kite flying out on the snow and it is a sunny day or even a slightly overcast day, you have to be prepared for the sun hitting the snow, reflecting back up, and you can get a sunburn. And it sucks to have a sunburn right here. Uh, from the underside. I've had that happen, spending a lot of time in the snow. So, uh, The second thing I have on my list is something I actually started wearing a lot when I was spending a lot of time outdoors, especially during the summer and the winter and, you know, exposed to the elements. And you're seeing it more and more these days on many kite flyers' faces, and that's a buff. Now, a buff is pretty simple. It's a, a tube <laughs> of fabric and nothing fancy about it. You can get it with all sorts of prints, but it's very thin fabric and it can be used for a lot of things. I oftentimes have one on my wrist if I'm not wearing it on my head. Uh, for those of us with long hair, you can use it as a bandana, hold your hair back, or a headband. Um, but generally, the best is like this. Ooh, and it's bright out. I should have my sunglasses on. But you'll oftentimes see me on the field like this with a buff covering my face and thus preventing wind exposure on the face and helping with some sun exposure. Some buffs actually have SPF rating and they'll help you out. The next thing on my list is also within the exposure prevention category and that is chapstick. I like always carrying a whole bunch of extra chapstick in my bag. I usually have one on me and one somewhere in my kite bag. Chapstick is helpful for not only chapped lips or preventing chapped lips, but it's also helpful for a lot of the other parts of your skin that may be exposed. So like your nose, your ears. Uh, I've used it on my hands when I've had uh, rough abrasions or rough spots. Anyways, uh, so yeah. Next up then, a snack and some sort of fluids. Now I'm not a huge fan of sodas, so I'll usually have one of these sparkling waters with flavor or just a bottle of water. Uh, really, really critical to have access to hydration. And it's, it's something that I think a lot of kite flyers overlook because most modes of kite flying, you're not out there sweating, so you might not think that you're losing fluids, therefore it's hard to get dehydrated. But the truth of the matter is exposure to the elements can cause dehydration. It could be a beautiful, sunny, perfect day with only a little bit of wind. Um, but that blowing across your skin, you're going to lose moisture through your skin. You're going to lose moisture through breathing. And thus, you can get dehydrated. So it's important to have a snack to kind of help perk you up or a drink to help rehydrate you when you need it. And you never know, maybe someone else needs it. All right, so the last thing that I have in my five essentials pack, um, and I've only got the big bag here because I grabbed it out of the car, 
is a thing of baby wipes. Uh, I usually have a small little pack of these tucked away somewhere, but it's just really nice when you're coming off the field uh, or you've been out kite flying and say you need to go meet up with a friend for a beer or you, you're you headed to work or you just you know finished kite flying for the day and you're headed home. It's nice to just kind of wipe down your face and your hands and get some of the sand, the salt, the crusties and all that off. Um, I've used it, some of my baby wipes uh, are antiseptic wipes, and I've actually used them on injuries and, and what have you. So it's just nice having those around, and that's why it's on my five essentials for enjoying a comfortable kite flying experience. All right, so that was my five. I would love to hear what you think is important to make your kite flying time enjoyable. Do you think I missed something? Do you think... Uh, I got something wrong, drop it in the comments below, and let's see if we can create our own list of essentials for kite flying experience. I know I've missed one already, just sitting here thinking about this. Sunglasses. Should have sunglasses. If you're staring up at the sky, should have sunglasses. Obviously forgot mine. Alright, peace out everybody. Bye.